Yes, yes, yes. My beautiful, immortal, ancient people of the sun and Taurus fields. Microphone check one, two. Now, I'm noticing that when I do YouTube lives, I get more views for speaking from my own flesh, which is cute. But you must understand, these videos that I'm showing you here, right, where I show you magic, the supernatural world of numerology, or namaste, yeah, is the real truth. So what made me speak and have the ability to even have views? You must respect these videos the same as the other ones. Or I'm going to stop and take a long ass break. It's too much picking and choosing. It's, you can't do that. With Truth is not a restaurant and I love my subscribers, but the numbers are all over the place. And it should not take Santos Bonacci, a viral truther, to share my video for it to receive a lot of likes or views. You don't have to agree with me, but it's about you. Do you understand me? When you were a child, you asked all kinds of questions. You didn't listen to your mommy and daddy. Sit down. You didn't sit. Stop running. You kept running. You were a rebel. What happened? Now, use your imagination. We have a lot of issues. We're in trouble. Afghanistan. Much love to the Middle East and my Arabic people. Now, in 2004, article entitled Al-Qaeda, right? Or Talimi Banana, Taliban. Okay. The origins and links. The BBC, okay, fact-based truth, wrote, during the, hear me now, anti-Soviet war, and some of you know this, bin Laden, who so-called blew up the Twin Towers, so-called, and his fighters, hear me now, received American, do you understand me, and Saudi funding. Okay. And even bin Laden has been linked with who? Hmm. Security training from the CIA. So this Taliban that you see causing hell in Afghanistan and killing uh, people? Okay, who trained them to do that? Who is the greatest military force on earth? America. Of course it is. Rome. People. Colonists. Templar knights. Traveled all over the earth knowing how to kill stuff and make stuff to hurt things and they came to america yeah cia is your taliban talimi binana bin laden in which now today get out of afghanistan people wow 2000 uh u.s soldiers my brother was in the military in the marines i they died in afghanistan this month, 2,000 of your brothers and sisters thinking they're fighting for freedom or freeing people of Afghanistan, 2,000 are dead in one month. This month, people, you better wake up. I'm serious. War has been going on for thousands of years and none of you ask questions. Now for Afghanistan. Okay. People, you have to wake up and think creatively and stop being, I don't know, afraid of magical videos and you don't believe in magic? But what made your sperm and your balls and your mouth and your words? Afghanistan now, hear me now, uh, ding, 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 relates to an Afghan that you can wear and Stan. Now Jay, slow down, it's too fast. Stan was a song by Eminem. Is there a possible connection? Yes. Okay. Now, what is your Afghan relate to? Or Africa? Hi. Watch me cook. Watch me cook. Organic vegan meals only here. I don't eat animals. Okay? Afghan. All right. Relates to what, people? Let's see here. All right. Your Afghan is Jeremiah. Wake up, people. Son of Israel. Wait a minute. Afghanistan people are mostly Muslim, right? That's Jews. Okay, they call themselves Jeremiah, the son of Israelite King Saul. People, where are you at? King Saul, Saul, Sol, S-O-L-E of your foot. Saul is Latin for the sun and salt. In ancient times, the army got paid in a lump of salt. Why? Because your body sweats salt. It's powerful. King Saul is the sun, is you. And Stephen King, 
Your SK assault rifle. J. That's just J. Out of J. J. Okay, J. Afghanistan. Now watch me cook. I'm not done. Your stand, like Eminem song, who's a Freemason for sure. They all sell out. Your stand is a place, right? And it means to be firm, terra firma. Terra is the earth. She knows spending a thousand miles an hour. They lie to you in sour and NASA. Okay, so you're Afghan, thank God for them. It means to be a law firm. Yes or no? Yes or no? Now, it also relates to, let's see here. Sta, to take a stand. Okay, to stand. Sta, when you stand, are you spinning and moving or are you firm? People, your blood is pumping and your heart is moving, but your skin stays still. Ah, and there is your T there. You see it? Which circles going around it? Your T vibrating is your Taurus field is moving, but not your Earth. Wake up. Wake up. Sta. Hmm. Sta is pretty cool. Now, in etymology, sta means a lot of things. How do you find out how you are related to someone in ancient times or your bloodline? A DNA swab? Well, sta is your etymology, is Anastasia, relates to Christ. Okay. Whatever the J J. This is just you're playing around with words. You're just playing J. It is Taurus astrology, people. A bull. Stop eating beef. You have beef with someone because you're eating beef. Understand to be underneath the foundation firm. But Taurus is a cow, is a bull. Watch me cook. Beautiful. There is your Taurus. Yes or no? Your Taurus field. What are your cows doing? Taurus, hmm, Taurus means to be firm, like your brain and truth. And there is a T for Taurus right there in the screen. Look carefully and support all of my videos the same equally. Well, what's the point of me doing it? This is a lot of work and it's the Torah. Remember the other video? The high priestess's arm has a Torah on her arm. I'll show it again at some point. Firm is the Taurus. People, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You don't hear me. You don't really hear me. I'm getting 70 views here and 20 views here and then 100 and 1,000 views here. And then I'm getting 300 views here. All right, Torah, people, you better wake up because I'm serious. I'm not doing this to be cute or for you to like me. I'm doing it for you to help your homies who are sick and depressed and broken. Now, the Torah relates to what in the tarot? The number two I've shown you several times is this female right here. They came before the Bible with a T on her chest. It's in the screen. Okay? Now, look at her arm. T-O-R-A. She's showing you what you shouldn't be doing. Hurting animals. And there is a moon. It's a full moon tonight. Or, I don't know, Freemason letters? Now go back, J. J. J, it's too fast. It's too, there's too many points here, J. This, it's just J. Use your smart voice and uh, eat more meat, J. Oh, J. Taurus. <laughs> Your Taurus is what? I never get tired of repeating and stuff because people are slow. Your Taurus is again the what? The sacred cow. All right, Jay. And it means to be firm, ding, ding, ding. And the Torah, you Jews better know what your Torah is about. There's many Jews who don't believe in astrology still, who are rabbis. I love you, but my gosh. And also you Arabic priests, any priest, if you damn astrology, you're confused. And they're all eating animals still. Stop doing it. It's blasphemy. Firm. Ment in Latin is the mind. Firma ment is mentioned in your Bible. And it means what? In Hebrew, rakia. Okay, rocky balboa, a racket. Okay. It means, hear me carefully, the vault of the sky. And hear me now, the floor is flat of the earth. Okay. Now, people, what the hell? Are you that? I mean, I can't believe this. And then God said, right? Let there be a firmament, firm in the midst of the waters, and let it divide, hear me now, the waters. Wow. From the waters? Well, damn. 
So your sky is made of water, your body's 80% water, and how are we not drowning in this earth? It's called a dome is circular, but earth is flat, baby, a floor. Now, remember the vault? Jay, I mean, it's too much, Jay. Jay, go back, go back, Jay, go back, Jay, Jay, use your smart voice, Jay. Firmament, you're awesome but confused. You women should love this, is the vault of the sky. What does that mean, people? A bank has a vault. Now, watch me cook. You have something called a thalamus, right, in your brain. And please support this video equally as my other videos or I'm going to stop. I'm not kidding with y'all. Thalamus, it's a lot of work, y'all. Thalamus, you find 1753, those are my numbers and yours too. Okay, in numerology, thalamus means the what? People, a vault, your brain. Wow, just marinate now. It takes you back to your firmament now. Okay, I'm gonna repeat and get better at this. Firmament, you find sky. Vault, right? Sky, the floor of the earth. How can it be a ball if it has a floor? Balls don't have a floor. They're round and they bounce around. Otherwise, it wouldn't bounce. Ding, ding, ding. Now, your zodiac, it means the circle of little animals like Taurus or the Torah field. So stop eating them. You know, if I ate you, you'd call the police. Why would I want to do that? Now, here's where it gets interesting, okay? Your zodiac means, okay, hear me, hear me now. You have a vault in the sky. It means the girdle of the sky. Girdle, G-O-T-S. Do you got that now? And you better give this video the same views as my other ones where I go live. Y'all love me going live, but this is real truth. Yeah, I'm showing you the evidence of who you are. Pelvis is in your hip bone, yes or no? Your pelvis, is it not? Yes, it is. Your pelvis means a what? Hear me, people. It's a pelvic girdle or your PG movies. You better wake up quickly and get groovy. Girdle in the sky and vault is you. Mental health issues, how? It takes you back to your girdle now. Bible verses. It says, gird yourself Bible verses. You find Elisha, the prophet. One of the children is you of the prophets. And he has to, or she, gird up thy loins. Is your lion or Leo? Jay, it's too fast. Use your smart voice. It's, it's children, y'all. Now, watch me cook. Woo! You have Bible verses about girdles all over the place. You find garments and a coat, not of Joseph, of you. You find a breastplate and you find an e-pod. What's an iPod? I'm blowing your damn mind. You think that someone knows your truth. Look at it, girdle again, Exodus. Exodus, Barb Marley. It was a Freemason probably too, but good music. Girdle of the e-pod is your, what's an iPod? People, wake up, wake up. Now, you are also Jewish and Arabic. You're everything. E-pod is a Jewish, Jewish priestly vestment. Okay? It means to put on. Have you been put on? Has someone been putting you on? And it relates to, I don't know, these terms here. Ephesus. What is your thesis in university coming from? Ephesus. Dr. Seuss. Jesus. Ephesus. Epod is a Greek city. I'm blowing your damn mind. And it relates to what? Worship of Artemis. What is an arboretum? Art in heaven. Our Father who art in heaven is your prayer. Artemis, are you a mystic or are you just waiting for a different, I don't know, mind-controlled world? Diana, okay, relates to art amiss in heaven. And it's the Italian goddess of the moon. You showed your butt cheeks to your friends when you were drunk, but you no longer have imagination to believe in the funk of magic. Lucifer. And this video better get, you know, better views. I'm not playing with you, you, you subscribers. I love you, but it's not consistent. You want me to be, if I'm expected to be consistent, then the support should be. Lucifer is who? Diana, your Bible is astrology. It's metaphors. Hi, morning star people. Hi, Venus and the children, all of them in the Bible.
All of them are also Lucifer. It's more than one thing. You better get hit. You better get hit like your pelvic bone because I'm in the zone. Your phosphorus, leave your ignorance alone. Is the morning star. And it's in your urine. You think it's gross? Your fast food culture is gross. Eating animals and getting parasites is gross. It is. I know some customers who eat the heart of a lamb at my store. I don't judge them, but they're eating the heart of a lamb. My God, it's in a plastic container. Shame on me for selling that. It means to bear children. We all have bad karma, so you better do a video in the building and honor your damn lunate bone. Lunate bone, Jay. Jay, but where is it? It's in your human hand. You're awesome but confused. Now, mental health issues, how? <laughs> and shame on your, your damn professors today, all eating Subway and McDonald's and then telling you how to think. Lunate means crescent-shaped. It is a half-moon-shaped epod, or I don't know, Diana, William is Bill. How many nicknames did you have? Today you have pronouns and stuff. It's they, it, baba goom, baba gum, a goat, chicken. No one is human anymore. I have compassion. But where did it all come from? Over your head. Yeah, your firmament. Now, let me see here. In Exodus, right, we find again. The epod, rings of the epod, rings. Well, what are you seeing in the screen right now around that cross? And you find your girdle again. I'm never gonna get tired of doing this stuff. Exodus, right? Keep scrolling, Exodus, it says, and thou shalt embroider the coat of fine linen, metaphors for you, and thou shalt make the meter of fine hermenau linen, or leo, or Libra, and thou shalt make the girdle of the sky, you, of needlework? Now who is Sleeping Beauty getting her finger pricked by a needle? Jay! Oh, hold on, wait a minute, but there's Aaron mentioned in here somewhere, I believe. Oh, I was looking for Aaron, right? Pardon me, y'all. I got a little bit sidetracked here. Let me see. Give me a second to find it. I think there's Aaron mentioned somewhere in here, isn't there? Yeah, there we go. Exodus 28, 4. It mentions Aaron, thy brother, and the girdle. But you find Aaron. Well, who is Aaron? My brother's name is Aaron. People, wake up. Aaron, right, is also an Egyptian word. Aaron. It relates to what? I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, Aaron's beard. Okay, is a plant like St. John's wort is you. Beautiful. Now watch me cook. Watch me cook. It's in a book. Come on, come on, computer. Here is your Aaron's beard. Beautiful. This is you. This is who you this is who you are. If you want to heal from coronavirus, eat these things. These are all Aaron's beard. Look. Look. Plants, flowers. Takes you back where now? Pardon me. Okay, your thalamus and your brain, yes or no? Thalamus brain, use it people, use it, it's unique. Your thalamus, right, is the receptacle of a flower or Adam's beard, or Aaron's beard, pardon me, same thing, William is Bill. Now back to your darn Taurus, the firm people, the bull, Taurus. Now, Taurus means to be firm, like your earth. It's not a ball. Now, watch me cook. Terra firma are the same letters as Taurus field. Terra firma means to be firm land, not spinning, earth. Someone no likey you. You have a lion to your gazelle. You have a toroidal field, fact, coming out of your heart. Toro is bull in Spanish. Hi, people. It's in your plasma of your blood and your heart. Here is a real Taurus field, and don't start with me. It's red and blue X right there. Turn the other way, you don't see it. It's called magic. Go to Instagram, Rosen617 for more things. Now, Tellurian means what? Earth? Floor. Tellurian. Earth. Floors don't spin. Sole of your foot. You better wake up, people. I'm blowing your damn minds. Now, your cow, right, relates to what? What does your cow relate to? Your cow, part of my damn phone. Come on, phone. Cow. Relates to Kovi. Sounds like, I don't know, COVID? Hmm, Kovi. People, wake up. Wake up. Your Kovi, 
or COVID is a brood or flock of partridges in a pear tree, similar to birds and a cubicle, a cube and cubata. A cube is a square. Now in the five elements, do you care? Earth is what? Earth is a cube in geometry. Challenge your professors who call it a ball and have a globe uh, shape of the earth in your school. Challenge them and play by videos. Your coronavirus or your COVID stolen from animal, animals, right, existed when? In 1968. I wonder how we got past that one. And it means the corona, pardon my damn phone, of the sun. They take your truth and poison you and tell you the sun is bad for you. You have a solar plexus in your stomach. It will not blind you. Learn how to solar gaze. It's in your gut instinct. Now to magic. All right, watch me cook. It's in a book. You think I'm playing with you? Okay, now my magic. Uh, come on, come on now. All right, watch me cook. Now, who's helping me do all this? All right, 202108121333555. People, responding to what? 1854. All right, that was yesterday. All right, hold on. I gotta move now because my phone's gonna die soon. Eight one three five people, my numbers. Two oh two one oh eight two one one five one five one five three five. Responding? Damn. Two oh two one oh two oh two one oh eight two one one three three five three eight to one five 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 five. People, cashiering. Magic. Two oh two one oh eight two one yesterday. Again. One three one five. Responding to what? 155. 531 is a prime of uh, 155. 1821, 135. Responding to a license plate, 185 people, and I am single. 1585, what do you see yesterday? 15383, Hade Krishashiba Boom Om Jage And 135, responding directly to, in the link right there, to a piece of meat. People, you better wake up and stop playing games. It's called magic. Now, what made you? What made you? What made you even think that you don't know what astrology is? You are astrology. Now, watch me cook. I better hurry up. I don't have much time here. Got a lot to share. Woo! Come on now. Come on now. My phone might cut off. Let's go. Let's go, Mr. M. In the video link right here, you find what? Damn it. This damn phone. All right. You find what in my video link? Look. Watch me cook. 202108211. 5158 responding to what? 1855, you see it there. Right? You see it there. There it is. Hi. Okay, now that's a video. Also, today. Hurry up, Jay. Hurry up, Jay. Come on, come on, phone. Come on. Come on, computer. Come on, computer. Hare Krishna, let's go. We don't have time for all this. People, today, okay. Damn it, this computer. 202108221351, responding to what? Get it done, Jay, get it done, Jay, you can do this. All right. 5357 in a receipt, that was today. Okay, now. 1518 people, you find 537, it goes on and on. 155, five, you find 153. The prime number is 531, and there it is. You get the point now, right? And 1385, I'm done now. I'm tired. 133353, three, three, three. DMJ, and 3518, 153. Three. All today. Damn it. 1531, responding to what? 1485. 185 is 14 for 5. Hi, people. Hi, people. Now, also, ding, ding, ding. 185 is right there randomly. God damn it, phone. Come on, phone. Lord have mercy. I'm getting tired now. And so should you be. Responding to 1588221. Get your name decoded by me for only a $50 donation. Now, woo! Wow, that's a lot of work. How does Jay do it in under a half an hour? Now, J-A-T is a birth name. Okay? It appeared in my own YouTube link. Okay? YouTube. YouTube. All right. Now, in Pythagoras, come on, computer, the one is a J. Mm-hmm. 
The 5 is an E, an e uh-huh, and the 8 is an H. Now in Chaldean, the 1 is a J. Hi, the H-E is a 5-5. Five, five. So something is guiding me to help you not be dum-dums. Now your prime numbers of a 155 five, are 531, and I'm tired of ignorance and getting mixed uh, views. But what is this? Damn, Siskel and Ebert? Your prime numbers of 1A5 are 537, right? Now, fully vaccinated people are still getting COVID, by the way, on the last note, and more vaccinated people are dying of COVID in England than unvaccinated. And I'm forced to wear a mask at my job unless I'm vaccinated, which is discrimination, and I have chronic pain. Hade. Krishna Shiva Boom Om Jai Chi. You better go holistic, solar gaze, enema flush, stop eating animals. That is the only solution to uh, boost your immune system and F the government and don't trust them. Incredible work, Jay.